Hello and welcome to csharp.net tutorial. In previous tutorial I have shown you how to create master detail entry form without typing any code. Today I will show you how to print out that master detail information in a printable format. Let's take an overview first. This is our master detail entry form we have previously created and today we will learn how to print out the master detail report like this one. We will create a RDLs report that is a Microsoft report building tools and we are going to use these tools to design report and view report. To do it we need the same data used in master detail entry form. We have created uh, two tables one is employee address and another master part is employee info in SQL Server. If you don't have any idea about how to create it please see previous video and you can also watch my SQL Server related videos in my channel to get clear idea about how to create tables in SQL Server Management Studio. So I am not going too much detail about creating and relating tables in SQL Server because I have already covered it in my previous videos. Today we will only focus on how to design report in RDLC using Visual Studio. Before designing report you have to ensure the report development extension is installed or not. So let's check it first. I'm closing this windows and go to the extension, manage extension. Select online and find out RDLC. Microsoft RDLC report design uh, already installed here. For your case, if it is not installed, install it from here and then close this window then go to the tools menu then go to any get package manager under any get package manager manage any get packages for solution here i have installed microsoft reporting service report view control and Microsoft SQL report type. These two components must be installed. If it's not installed then from browse button search the and you get packages and install it. Here I have got an update so I am clicking here to update it. It is very easy, simple and quick. Tear installation complete. Go to toolbox. If everything is ok, you will find Microsoft SQL Server. Under that you will find tools report view. If these tools are not available, you have to install extension and then you get packages to make it available. After an installation, if it is not appear here, you have to right click here and select reset toolbox. Okay, I think you have understand how to install Microsoft Report Viewer and let's start actual work. To create a report, you need a data set first. Go to Solution Explorer, right click on your project name, then go to Add New Item. Select data, click data set, DS, master detail report. Right click on data set builder, select add table adapter. You can use existing connection string. Select use SQL statement. Select query builder, select tables. Close. Select required field from the master table. 
for our case this three fields will be enough and from detail table we're going to select address type address line one choose zip code city country under id we are inserting a filter parameter filter parameter should start with the red sign and naming it employee id you can test the query data has been populated so query is working fine okay and advanced option these are not required because we are designing reports so insert update delete statement is not required so i am unchecking all of this going to next this two box must be checked finish primary key for id column is not required so i am deleting it otherwise it will cause problem because of duplication and set okay our data set creation is complete now we need to design a report using this data set right click on your project again go to add new item select visual c sharp items under it select report give a report name employee address employee address master detail report this is our report designing pan page header and page footer here is the page footer In the page header insert a text box you can type your company name in your page header header section usually contain the company name and report name employee address report and footer section usually contain execution time page number in your footer section and now comes to the data and the data set add data set select the data set we have created moments ago it is ds master detail report and here is the field available in this data set you can give a relevant name click ok data set automatically populated with the data's original data set name for master part we will drag and drop the fields it's the id name and designation those are from
before the expression we can add level for detail part insert table insert few columns and drag and drop the detail fields in the table section we need two more columns so I am inserting Page size and merging the page orientation. We are selecting A4 and left margin should be 0.5, right 0.25. So it's 0.5 is enough, bottom 0.25. Okay, so our report is ready but uh, we need a form to show it in our software so let's go to solution explorer again right click on your project name add windows form form report click add from toolbar Microsoft SQL Server drag and drop, drop the report viewer control resize it in data source window select the data set we created for this report drag and drop any field on the form it will automatically generate the relevant component like data set binding source table adapter fill it to little strip everything required to load data in for the report then you can delete this field then select the record viewer tools go to that icon and select the report this is the report employee info master deep report we have designed a few moments ago i'm selecting this this form almost complete to view report we need to open this form from this master detail employee address form to do it you can insert a button here we have already created a print button for your understanding I am creating another button button print print preview double click on the button and write some code to, to open the report form my new form equal to It 
disregard closing back bracket save and run the program this code are causing problems actually we do not need this code anymore because we don't want to load any data in report load ok let's try it again print preview report page has opened we are watching the report design but there is no data here because we have not executed any query in this window we can do it by clicking the fill it populate data and then I if we click on refresh it will show the data now it is showing data the employee ID is 18 and name David David has two address present address and permanent address so report is visible actually we don't want to click fill button and then refresh button to show the report our goal is to when I click the print preview here the form will open and report will be refreshed automatically so then let's do it To do it, we need to pass this ID value to the report viewer form. How to do that? I'm showing you. I'm deleting this. Our data set was DS employee address and go to the data source, the DS employee address the master table text box here and drag and drop it to the form remember the name of this field it is id text box double click on print preview button again above the print preview button click event type public static string here we have declared a public variable called id value and the ID value we are going to store the ID text box text <laughs> then go to form report double click on fill button copy this paste it under form load event and this text box will be replaced with the variable we have declared and rerun the project let's see if you want to print the, this line select it ID number is 9 print preview this ID is automatically passed to this print form all data is populated and report is showing master detail report automatically without clicking on fill button or refresh button and now we can remove this toolbar because this toolbar are unnecessary that's all for today 
I think you have understand how to create master detailed report. It is a simple report. In upcoming tutorial, we will cover more complex reporting. So stay with us. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any question or you need any clarification, please comment. I'll try my best to answer it.